Hello, everybody. Today, I am going to review Raul Cerule, another diecast from the Disney Pixar movie. My favorite movie, and my favorite Cars movie, and it is Cars 2. So, let's get started. As you know, he appeared in Cars 2 and didn't speak, but actually spoke in Cars 2, the video game, and in Cars Fast as Lightning. And in the movie... He was seen in all of the three t- World Grand Prix races and even the Radio Springs Grand Prix. And he was also ha- having many diecast variations. He also was released in 2011, 11 years ago, and still released to this day. He could possibly be released this year. And as you know, in the Mini Racers 3 pack, there's going to be a new World War Prix 3 pack set, and it has Raul Cerul in the Mini Racers 3 pack, and he is supposedly the new 2022 Mini Racer in that 3 pack. And the other two cars that came in that 3 pack were Carlo Beloso and Lightning McQueen. And I find that perfect. I think it's supposed to be based on the scene in Tokyo where Lightning passed Raul and then Carla. You know, that scene, I think it's based on that. Um, this, I think it's based on Lightning McQueen passing Raul and Carla in the race, so... I think that three-pack would make sense. Kind of we- very weird that they didn't have Francesco there, but... It still is a good three-pack. And there's two more mini racers for Cars 2 that... We know that we'll be getting soon that I really also want to get. And this Finnet Missile from the Mini Racers Blind, Bo- Blind Box series. And Holly Shiftwell. And Holly Shiftwell is in the three pack with Dragstar Mater, aka Funny Car Mater, and World Grand Prix McQueen again. And I'm guessing that 3-pack will be the Around the World series. There's no, there's no other series they could possibly be in besides Around the World. And, and yeah. But anyways, about Raul Saru, as you know, he had many, many, many re-releases. And he's actually the only background Cars 2 racer to have, to have received a color changer. And I find that pretty interesting. I mean, we know Francesco and Lightning had color changers. And somehow Raul did. And Raul had a lot of merchandise somehow for being a background character. He had, like, an Air Hogs version. I think a pullback version. He even had charge-up version. Yeah, for some reason, Raul Cerule had many merchandise despite being a background character. And in the movie, in, in the French version of Cars 2, you know the scene in the Tokyo Welcome Party where Jeff Corvette's in for the U.S.? Well, for the French version, Raul Sarul, um is there, and I'm having trouble to have Louis stay there, but remember the scene? If you know about the French version, you may know that Raul Sarul was there instead of Jeff Corvette. And for the Brazilian version, there was Carla, and the German version was Matt Schnell. Now, as you know, the U.S. version includes Jeff Corvette. Now, the other six countries, the Spain version included Fernando Alonso, and for the Russian, it had Vitaly Petrov, um, Mexico had Mima Rojas, Long J for the Chinese version, Sweden for Flash, and Frosty for the Australia version. And those are all the countries and the, or the cars that replaced Jeff Warbeck in the Welcome Party. Now, anyways, let's have a review of this amazing diecast. He has this pretty cool, ready to race, happy expression. And he has his headlights, which are similar to Miguel Camino's right here. That shape is similar, although I think it's different. He basically has a 
a color for France, and he has a really cool paint job. I really like the stripe of blue, white, and red. Also, there's two different blue colors. This part is light, more of a bright blue, whereas right here and the GRC, and then the back, mm, or actually the back is a light blue, but some of the parts of Raul that are blue are more of a darker color. And that on the hood, it reads GRC, and it even reads GRC on the white stripe right here. And he also has his side mirrors. He has a lot of pretty cool detailing for the paint job. He has silver rims. He has that World Grand Prix symbol, number six for the World Grand Prix with the French flag. He has the Power by Alamo and World Grand Prix logo. And he has the red on the back. He has the World Grand Prix logo and the spoiler. And there's some blue behind the red as well. Same on the other side. And on the back, it reads the World Grand Prix logo. It has the exhaust pipes. The Power by All No logo. French flag. And the World Grand Prix symbol. Yes, it's the taillights. There's the base. And yeah... And as you know, he had a lot of diecast variations. He had the T-Rod versions, and he also had received many other versions. All the variations of Raul Sarul that had been released besides the regular one are the Colette and Kinect one from that puzzle. Remember these Colette and Kinect puzzles from Cars 2? There was... A Francesco in there and Lightning and Mater, and the cars in there ha have silver detailing. Like Francesco, all the white and the rims are painted silver. And for Lightning McQueen, he has like a silver lightning bolt and flames and rims in the 95. They were silver. And Mater had like a different expression, and his rims were silver. And for Raul Sarul, he was a little bit different. The only different, I think, yeah, the only different was the white stripe and silver. And I think that version of Raul the Colette and Kinect one had an eye plate. Now, the next Raul Sarul that had been released was the Metallic Toys R Us exclusive version. And that one had a different expression. Well, they always change expressions for Raul a lot. Although they didn't do that for the Colette and Kinect and Silver version. Uh, but the other expression, they kept the same. And, well, for Carnival Racer, they didn't change it at all. But, yeah. Now, about the metallic Raul Sarul from the Kmart. Or, I mean, the... Toys R Us exclusives. That version of Raul, you may know that Nigel, Max, or I mean Miguel, there's no Max Schnell in Metallic, but there's a Jeff Horvat, Lightning McQueen, and Francesco. All of them were Toys R Us exclusives, and they were seen in every country, but Raul Sarul was only released internationally. There wasn't him in the US, though. And for Metallic Rupachkovsky, he was released in a Kmart Collector's event in 2013 with the Silver Cars 1 McQueen, who was actually re-released in 2020. And that's where the Silver Racer Raul got re-released. And for Silver, Raul is basically Raul Sarul that was silver. And it was only the lighter blue that was silver. And... Also, another difference is that the white part is silver, and it kind of match, and it matches a little bit more on the Colette and Kinect one a little bit. And the Made in Thailand one that's released in 2020, it had the white, by the way, 
And for the T Rock version of Rosaru, he's been in every T Rock race for the Diecast. He had a Silver Racer, even a Neon Racer, even the Ice Racer, Carnival Racer, and the Carbon Racer. The Carbon Racer Raul actually was only exclusive in that four pack with Lightning, Carla, and Jeff. And I don't think he was released as a single internationally. Although I do know for the Ice Racer Francesco and Carnival and Carbon Racer Rip and Neon Racer Shu, they were released as a single internationally. But Carnival Cup Raul did not have that, unfortunately. But anyways, as you know, Raul Sarul even had a stunt racer hauler for himself, and the hauler's name was Andre. Now, I have no idea if Jorg, Andre, and Sal really exist. I'm not sure if they do, but as you know, we never seen them in the movie, so I don't know if, if those characters exist. Although, they, the character, Carl Hossamoth, that has the same model. I know he existed when we seen Cars 2. And he's the hauler transporter for Victor Hugo. But anyways, about Raul Saru. He also had a pick crew. He had Bruno Motoro, his crew chief, who has been released in the Fort Pack in 2012 first. And then released in 2013 in the 2 Pack with Raul. And again in the 2 Pack for 2016 and 2020. But with the pity... Emmanuel Manez, and in 2016, Emmanuel Manez had a first release, and was re-released in 2020. And as you know, for every World Grand Prix racer that had a race fan, Raul Saru actually did in the movie, but sadly, one of his race fans got cancelled, and then there's a green BMW Raul Saru fan, and that was originally going to be in the 4-pack, I think. But it got cancelled, sadly. So it appears for the Diecast line, Raul Saru has no race fans. Although, you, it, if, if you count the cancelled one, then yes. But, yeah. Now, as you know, um, I will review all the, the last five racers. And I'm going to do Shoe to the Roki next. And I'm having the cars organized by number. Like I did Francesco, then Lewis, then Max, then Miguel, and now Raul. And I'm gonna do Shu next. And yeah, and then all of that. I know I didn't really did that organize because I did Lightning first before Francesco. But the reason why I did that is because he had big main character in Cars 2. Well, not really, but Light McQueen was a main character in there. Even though Mater has is a big main character in there. But anyways, that's pretty much it for the video. So anyways, guys, bye now.